Women who were sexually assaulted by a former restaurant owner had their day in court. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carla Chiquetto. And I'm Barbara Lee Edwards. Daniel Dorado was sentenced to prison today, but not before he heard from three of his accusers. News 8's Evan Narani has more on today's sentencing from downtown. Good evening. Earlier today, Daniel Dorado, the La Jolla restaurant owner who was convicted of sexually assaulting four women, heard his fate in a San Diego courtroom. He also heard from his victims. He was sentenced to 40 years in prison in total for those 20 counts that he was charged with. He also heard from the women themselves. He is an evil individual. He has shown history of repeatedly assaulting women through the use of daybreak drugs. He is a repeated offender who needs to be incarcerated so he can never commit this crime ever again. Dorado was found guilty on 20 felony counts involving four women. However, other women have come forward since saying they experienced similar situations with Dorado. He owned an Italian restaurant in the Bird Rock neighborhood of La Jolla and even used the restaurant to lure victims, claiming he wanted them to come for a job interview before spiking their drinks and raping them. Dorado was taken into custody in 2018 and found guilty in December of 2019. Today, he was back in court hearing from the women he assaulted as they gave their victim statements. We also heard heard that sentencing of 40 years in total. Now, Dorado first denied the claims, but now says he never spiked the women's drinks and that the sexual encounters were consensual. His restaurant has been closed since his arrest in 2018. And the women who spoke today say the reason why they chose to come forward and speak was because they wanted to send the message to any men who have done similar things that they will not get away with it, that they'll spend time in prison. They also noted they don't think they did anything wrong in this situation, but have now been left with years of trauma and PTSD. But they wanted their voices heard and they wanted to send that message. I'm Evan Irani, News 8.